Con Expo Con Ag Show is held every three years in Las Vegas. The 2014 show had nearly 130,000 visitors over its five-day duration. There were more than 2,000 exhibitors covering 2.35 million net square feet of exhibit space. To see it in any kind of detail takes days and you can expect to wear your feet right out so you're left walking just on your ankles. The original equipment manufacturers use the show to display and sell their machines and the bigger ones have special press conferences. So let's take a minute and listen to what goes on. Today we remain very much a family business that has achieved much over nearly seven decades. And while we do enjoy looking back, we much prefer looking forward. And finally to North America, which has had a roller coaster ride. In 2005, the market peaked at 187,000 units. By 2009, it had fallen to an incredible low of 75,000 units. We have 37 fantastic products here on the stand today. And this morning, I'm going to introduce a brand new range of compact excavators. Skid steel loaders and rough terrain forklifts with tier 4 final. And an exciting new range of load all telescopic handlers. And if that's not enough, we've got some exciting new developments as well on backhoe loaders, excavators and wait till you see what we've done on our large wheel loading shovel. And because on this engine tier 4 final is achieved through efficient combustion and selective catalytic reduction, there's no need for a DPF. So there you have it, the new 457, delivering new levels of comfort, visibility, productivity and efficiency. Outside of the office, the JCB lot was full of new machines for people to look at. And as part of the entertainment, there was also a show by the JCB Dancing Diggers. Without waiting anymore, here they are, the world famous JCB Dancing Diggers. <laughs> Liebherr had an impressive stand at the show and on display was the massive Liebherr LR11000 crawler crane and it's certainly interesting to be able to get up close to such a large machine. Also on display was the LTM1750 mobile crane. It was carrying a fly jib and it was in the colours of Digging and Rigging. Digging and Rigging is an American company based on the East Coast. The LTM1750 is a 750 tonne capacity mobile crane and it was also on display at last year's Balmo exhibition in Germany. It's a big and impressive crane and it looks really good in the colours of digging and rigging. There were plenty of other machines on the Liebherr stand and one of the new ones was the Liebherr R956 excavator. This new 50 tonne class excavator takes over from the R954. Also new on the stand was the LTM 1160 mobile crane with its interesting feature being one engine is used to drive both the crane and the vehicle. Just for fun, Lieber had a game on their stand where you could measure your strength by trying to rotate the auger of an LB44 drilling rig. 26.2, 20, 27, 28, 28%. 47, 51, 53, 54, no bothering the contestant, that's not nice. 57.6. 59.3, 5 seconds left, 3, 2, and 1, 62.2. There were no new scale model announcements from Liebherr at the show, but there was one thing interesting to see, and that was a 630 ECH tower crane model which had been modified for wind turbine erection. And looking closely, there were a few revised parts compared to the production model. Another interesting machine at the show is the KTEC Scraper, which was teamed up with a Volvo A40F, and the model of it was available at the show. Indoors there was a very large Volvo stand, 
including his A40G series. There was also a large Volvo brand shop with a couple of new models available. The bigger one was this EC480E excavator and it looks quite good with the usual opening engine cover. One other thing that's reassuring is that the hydraulic rams on this model are back to normal with proper metal pistons. The smaller model was the EC300E excavator and that also looks to be a good standard model. Also for sale was the L150H wheel loader with its tilting cab. Although the focus of Conexpo is the new machines, some companies took the time and trouble to show some of the older machines from their past. At least I assume these were old machines and not some kind of modern retro design gone mad. But wait a minute, yes of course, turn the corner and there is a modern machine on display. Outside there were a number of demonstration lots and here is a backhoe bucket that can pretty well do anything you want. Many stands were giving away bags and bits and pieces, but hey, Las Vegas is a gambling town. Just look at the high rollers striking it big. The representatives on the Cabelco stand were certainly mean looking fellows. And the display of the machines was interesting. Here's one able to load its own counterweight. Although to be honest with the big guys on the Cabelco stand, I don't know why they just can't lift it up and attach it themselves. There were a large number of Cabelco excavators on the stand of all different sizes. There was something of a focus on demolition machines and the biggest was the SK1000 demolition excavator. This is a 100 ton machine and it has a maximum work height of about 130 feet or 40 meters. And it certainly is an impressive sight close up. Also laid out on the ground was a separate boom attachment. And again it's only with the ability to walk up close to these things that you see how solidly made and heavy they are. Another machine on the Cabelco stand was this 350 excavator and it probably wins the prize as the most highly decorated. One model maker at the show was classic construction models of the US showing off its line of historic Caterpillar models. One opportunity it gives is to see first hand one of their high quality brass models. And this number 12 motor grader certainly is highly detailed. Also on the stand was the new CAT 336EL excavator in 1 to 24 scale. This is a very large model so with that comes the chance to have some high detail and more functionality. And again looking at the standard of the sample collectors won't be disappointed with this model. Among the other upcoming models were two versions of the CAT 983B track type loader. This one is the standard version and the second one is the version with a ripper. And they both look promising models. But wait, there was more, the CAT 777 haul truck. And even more with the 776 tractor and MET 185 trailer. And as a bonus, there was a plastic sample of the 620B hydraulic shovel. There were plenty of foundation machines at the show, including this Bauer BG39 drilling rig. It was rigged here with a Kelly bar, but it can be converted for other foundation applications. This is a Hutter HBR6093 drilling rig for putting in things such as ground anchors. And another part of the same group is Casa Grande. And among the machines on display was this B360 XP drilling rig. This machine has recently been produced as a scale model by the Italian company Ross. One of the things you can often do at Conexpo is to have the hood raised and have a detailed look at the engine. Over to the Hitachi stand and they certainly had a big digger on display. This is the EX1200 and in backhoe configuration it weighs in at around 108 tonnes. The boom and armour of heavy construction and designed for durability in a tough environment. And there are plenty of safety features such as adjustable headlights and wide sidewalks outside the cab. It's a big machine and of course in a real working environment you'd never get the chance to get near one. But at a trade show like Conexpo it's all different because often you can actually climb up into the machine. And here is the view from the platform of the EX1200. The machine has got a large and comfortable cab. And if you don't believe it, at Conexpo you can climb in the cab and have a seat. So that's the first part of the look at Conexpo 2014. If you want to see more then there's plenty of other stuff in parts 2 and 3.